need to unwind, yeah. There is some passion, yeah, that's blowing my mind. You got the notion, so come on the notion. Come on and rock me easy, baby. Easy, baby, yeah. Easy, baby. You got a whole lot of getting you out. And I can't get enough of all the things you do. You got the notion, come on the notion. All right, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the mental house. With me, your host, Khadija. Now, I don't know what's got people so upset, because it's furious. They just furious at this John Hopkins Hospital as they published a diversity hit list where the DEI chief claims that all white males, Christians, (laughs) able-bodied, they can't handle it. (laughs) Anyway, any able-bodied white men, English speakers, are privileged. Letter sent by Dr. Sharita Hill for the Hospital Monthly Diversity Digest. Uh, she claimed middle age, middle class, and able bodied people also fit her description. Elon Musk and Donald Trump are among those who slammed the letter. I mean, all you got to do is look at the treatment of Donald Trump and know we sick of this shit. I mean, racism is a real, real nasty disease, and actually, it's so tired and played out. Basically, sick of it, and we need to really, really shut this fucking system down and replace it with a system of justice, because it's ridiculous. You know damn well if we were talking about uh, over Barack Obama, who's got a black uh, uh, father, but a white mama. And they treated him like crap, even though he was not raised like Adolf's. And you got the nerve to get mad. There's no way in the world they would have let him do what's going on with Donald Trump right now. This is the most insidious. The, the whole country, and not just the country, people all over the world is laughing. And they looking at us. And they talking about they looking at us because we weak, because weak, simple-minded, fragile white people have a very hard time accepting the reality are, that they really are fragile, and they can't handle the truth. Because whenever it's presented, they go crazy. It's it's insanity. They got the nerve to call us violence, and the only violence that's been perpetrated against any group, they're the biggest perpetrators of violence that it is. I mean, they gaslight. That's all they do. And so when you brought up in a narcissistic environment where the laws are all are narcissistic, the white men and the white people get to run shit, okay? Just like the, uh, there, there's no way in the system of justice what Travis McMichael and his dad did would be I'm glad they were brought to justice but just the mindset that this black man cannot move around the way he should all that comes from a conditioning and from a false narrative that you better than somebody and it's sick this privilege shit that y'all dealing with I mean it's gonna get broken down maybe not in my lifetime but when it do I'll be so happy because I'm sick of y'all fragile asses I'm sick of you saying crazy, insane shit about everybody else but y'all. Then you got the nerve to be in the, the, the people that make the rules. 
the nerve to be the people that make the rules for everybody, but y'all are the sickest people on planet, place, uh, planet Earth. How is that possible? You've shown a lot of sickness. And what you're letting Donald Trump get away with is truly, truly insane. Truly insane. Nobody is allowed to behave this way. Uh, uh, be the author of an insurrection. And y'all still think that, oh, he'll be a good president? What kind of craziness is this? I mean, and then you got the nerve to tell people don't listen to Farrakhan. Don't listen to, don't want to pick people's friends for them. Y'all some really, really weak, fragile people, and we can never heal in this country until you get ready to get real about your privilege, about your uh, first sin that needs to be corrected until you show atonement for slavery and what you've done to people all over the planet. Nothing ain't going to be right until that's right because your days are numbered. Your days are numbered. Because y'all mad now because Dr. Hill explains that privilege is a diversity a word of the month. To explain to the phrase applies to she offered a list. It reads, privilege is characteristically invisible to people who have it. White people, able-bodied people, heterosexuals, cisgender people, males, Christians, middle or owning class people, middle-aged people, and English people, all fit the bill. All of them fit the bill. Oh, and they mad at you, sister. They are mad at you. Anytime somebody pulls the cover off of their madness, they discredit them like they did Dr. King or Malcolm X, all the leadership that came and come before. They look at even John Lennon. I mean, anybody that comes against this system of, of madness and oppression is deemed uh, crazy. People in the dominant groups often believe that they have earned privileges that they enjoy or that everyone could have access to these privileges if only they worked hard enough. Now, that makes no sense knowing that you had black women nursing your babies a hundred years ago. You didn't even want to feed your own damn baby. But you worked. you never been a, a chattel class. you never had to serve anybody. But I shouldn't say that. Because the elites found a way to stop the Irish and the blacks from working together and made them put them in the category too. Because they gave them a job as the overseer to watch the rest of the Negroes. And that broke up that alliance. Period. So now your color has become your cash cow or your secret card. But that's going to play out. All of it is going to play out because it's not real. It's a construct, a social construct. Lie, no lie can live forever. That's the thing about it. Donald Trump said the rotten racism in higher education goes so much further. Uh, Harvard, MIT, and Penn, my alma mater, has taken over virtually every institution and it needs to uh, end now. Really? Really? But you going up and down elevators and talking about uh, Mexicans are vermin and uh, they, uh, all of my rapists. Listen, when the white man have his day of reckoning, it ain't going to be nothing nice. Nothing. Nothing. It's really not. Everywhere you are on the planet, you're not a native there. You have raped and robbed and pillaged the land and ain't got the nerve to set yourself as a standard for humanity. The newsletter intended a definition of the word privilege, which, upon reflection, I deeply regret. The intent of the newsletter is to inform and support an inclusive community at Hopkins. 
but the language of this definition clearly did not meet that goal. In fact, because it was overtly simplistic and poorly worded, it had the opposite effect. I retract and disavow the definition I shared. <coughs> In a statement to the Daily Mail, John Hopkins Medicine spokesperson said, the January edition of the monthly newsletter from John Hopkins Medical Office and of diversity included in health uh, and health equity use language that contradicts the values of John Hopkins as an institution. Yeah, right. All these narcissistic, uh, uh, man, listen, don't get me to talking. Don't get me to talking about this. She told the truth, and white people mad. <coughs> the people with the white fragility, the people that want everybody to be held accountable except them. Everybody got to uh, own up to their um, lack of, or their less than, for lack of a better word. I mean, everybody has to deal with that except them. They get to sit up there and make the rules and just like like they the Khalifa to sit there and decide, oh, this is what you need to do. And then you look at it and it's all hypocrisy. When you look at your AAs and your uh, um, alcohol ano anonymous or cocaine anonymous and they tell you, oh, you have to make amends with everybody you hurt. And uh, tell me when it, how is that happening with white folks? Huh? And you dealing with uh, John Hopkins, who was a slave owner, despite despite being a Quaker, <laughs> despite being a Quaker, and y'all think y'all gonna have to atone for that damn slavery, but you're gonna, not by my might, but you will. No, no. No lie lives forever. And, and and this is just sickening. I'm sorry. This make and I know a lot of y'all mad at me because I came out with this. Guess what? Get over it. Just like black people have to do. Get over it. Okay, just tell me what you think. And what you think about this president uh from John, from John Hopkins that did this article. What y'all think about this? Let me know. <laughs> Chief Diversity Officer Sharita Hill, and they mad at her. They are so mad at her. All right. Let me know what you think. If you like what you hear, subscribe and share the channel, and I'll see you in the next video.